hurry to get to the cafe, I think. <laughs> St Mary's Loch. It's not where I plan to go today. But I saw the sign and I thought, yeah, let's do that. So today I've got a request, a call to arms if you will, to all my subscribers out there. Let's help get this channel over 200 subscribers. We're sitting on 167 right now. Let's get over 200, please. Like, share and subscribe. And if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber already, please do. And hit that bell notification icon down below so you won't miss any of um, any future videos. But that's my mission at the moment. It's to try and get this channel over 200 subscribers. this to see you know we talk about all sorts of stuff when we're out we go through wonderful tree tunnels like this how cool is that oh yeah I think I've just found a new favorite tree tunnel Other favourite tree tunnel, which is now my second favourite. So yes, we talk about loads of stuff, a uh, little bit of history of the area, we talk about Riker stuff, um, and really just about whatever comes up at the time. Good wood pile. I just love this road. It's not in the greatest condition in the world, but they have repaired it in places. So the place where we're going today, St Mary's Loch, it's a place I've always loved. It's got a fantastic cafe, which I'm hoping will be open. Where are you going? That was weird. Oh yes, it's got a fantastic little cafe that does very good coffee and my parents used to take us there when I was a kid and um, I've just got all these memories of wonderful days road glide or it could be a street glide I'm not 100% sure yeah my parents used to take me there and I've got all these memories of wonderful days down by the loch. Swimming, kayaking, and really just enjoying days like this. And nowadays it's um, quite an attraction for bikers from all over the place, mainly because of the cafe. And you can fit quite a decent amount of bikes in the car park. I don't know whether we'll see any there today because I don't know if they're open or closed or if they're doing takeout but we'll just kind of find out that when we get there I just 
love the twists and turns of this road and how it goes in and out of wooded areas in amongst all these amazing hills Guy in front's not really in a hurry but neither am I today I'm just in a mood to cruise along quietly and just enjoy the scenery So I've heard stories, and there's been news articles recently, um, that state, certain states in America are going back under various forms of lockdown. One of the weird ones is Florida. They're, um, they have a curfew from 11 till 7, 11 p.m. till 7 a.m., but during the day it's kind of business as normal and as my good friend Beth over at Rag Horizons says Covid don't tell time so what's the point of the, the whole co uh, curfew and there's, there's strange stories like that coming out from all over the world and I'm not a conspiracy theorist nut I don't wear tin hat Although, I do think Sasquatch is a real thing. Hello, cows. Uh, yeah, um, I, you know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist in, uh, normally, but you have to ask what some of these governments are up to. You know, there is absolutely no reason to have a quarantine when you can just go into lockdown. You know, it's not going to not infect you because it's five o'clock in the afternoon. It's just, I don't know whether it's because they're up to something. That's the day used by conspiracy theorists and nuts all over the world. Or whether it's just because they're incompetent. My personal view on that is, if you follow the money, then you'll find out. But why worry about a day like this? I'm socially distant, I have a face covering on, and gloves. I'm more than two metres away from the car in front. And my chances of catching anything at this point, it's zero.
That's just what we live with all the time. cyclists out today but then again you can't really blame them it's a great day to be out there's our first view of St Mary's Loch to get to the cafe, I think. And this place is called Capricluch. destination and they help you cut down trees from that angle this is coming to the end of St Mary's Law and over there that is the Loch of the Lows I see a kayak out there As I said, this is the Loch of the Lows. There's Labrador swimming in the loch there. Busy place today. So this, this bridge, is where the water runs from the Loch of the Lows underneath here. And along there, to St Mary's Loch, which is just through the trees there. So let's head back to the cafe where the bike is. I heard a few more bikes arriving. Unfortunately, they're not staying long because the cafe is shut. They do have social distancing measures in place for the cafe, but it must only be open at certain times. Just before we go back to the bike, this statue is in the memory of James Hogg, the Ettrick Shepherd. James Hogg, the Ettrick Shepherd, born 1770, died 1835.
Instead of arms or golden crest, his harp with mimic flowers was dressed. Around in graceful streamers fell the briar rose and the heather bell. He must have been a great man for them to put a statue here in the place that he loved with this for a view. St Mary's Loch over there and the Loch of the Lowes. What a perfect place. Just magical. Okay, we're set. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little run out to the Loch of the Lowes and St Mary's Loch. I'm going to head home now. So if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share and subscribe. And hit that bell notification icon so that you never miss another video. So wherever you are, I hope that the weather's glorious and the roads are empty. Take care and I'll see you next time.